Shivaya. I am Gayatri Sandeep from 8B. We may never understand illnesses such as cancer. In fact, we may never cure it. But an ounce of prevention is worth more than a million pounds of cure. Today, 4th of February is celebrated as World Cancer Day. On this special occasion, I proudly invite our guest, Dr. Grima M. Girish, the former student of our school, to clear our doubts about cancer and food habits. She has completed MBBS from Government Medical College, Kannur. She worked as a medical officer in Family Health Center, Poverty, under National Rural Health Mission. She also worked as a medical officer in FHC Velu, FHC Porkulam and FHC Kandanasheri as a part of COVID-19 surveillance under NRHM. She is currently preparing for post-graduation. A very warm welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Being an alumna of this great institution, I am indeed much obliged and overwhelmed to be a part of this program. I extend my sincere gratitude to the respective principal, all the beloved teachers, and the wonderful students of Amidudyal and Chavaka for giving me this great opportunity. Thank you. Let's start the session. So, our first question to you is, when will we need to start treatment and how will it take place? Before explaining about the treatment of cancer, first let me say a few words about cancer. Cancer is defined as a disease in which there is an uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells anywhere in our body. It is one of the deadliest diseases of this present era. Studies reveal that globally, one in every five person will develop cancer in their lifetime. Also, it is estimated that by 2040, about 30.2 million new cases of cancer will be detected. So, it is important to have some basic awareness about cancer. The symptoms of cancer can be as serious as bleeding, which could be bleeding from your mouth, bleeding in your stools, or it can be as vague as generalized tiredness or mild dyspepsia. But there are certain warning signs which we all must be aware of. This includes any lump or bump in our body which is increasing in size, for example, in any lump in the breast, or it can be an unexplained weight loss or loss of appetite, distension of abdomen, difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in passing stools, or even jaundice. All these are some of the warning signs which, if persisting, should not be ignored. It is important to detect cancer in early stage because then cancer can be curative. Coming to the treatment of cancer, the treatment of cancer depends on a number of factors, like on which part of the body the cancer is affected, or which type of cancer, whether the cancer is in its early stage or late stage. These are some of the factors which determine the treatment. There are different modalities of treatment for cancer. First is of course surgery, that is removal of the part which is affected by cancer. The second type is chemotherapy in which chemotherapeutic drugs are directly injected into the bloodstream or even taken orally. Then it includes radiotherapy in which the affected part is exposed to radiation. Other treatment methods include immunotherapy, hormonal therapy or even bone marrow transplantation. Um, when the cancer is in its advanced stage, we often give palliative treatment in which we reduce the symptoms of the patient. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor, I want to know about the long-term and short-term side effects of cancer treatment. In cancer treatment, we are actually destroying the dividing cancer cells. So, it is more likely that the normal dividing cells will also be damaged. This is a reason for the varied side effects following cancer treatment. Some of the common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, loss of appetite, loss of hair, nail damage, fatigue, anemia, 
or even long term effects like loss of a limb or loss of an organ or even increased risk of infection, heart diseases, lung damage, then many memory loss, vision loss, hearing loss. These are some of the common side effects of cancer treatment. Doctor, I want to clear a doubt. Can food causes cancer? What type of food causes cancer? Research shows that about 30% of cancers are directly related to poor dietary habits. There are certain specific foods which increase the risk of cancer. These include, first and the most important, alcohol. You all must know that smoking causes a lot of cancers in our body. Be it lung cancer, oral cancer, esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, we can name any number of cancers. But what you may not be knowing is that alcohol is also an important cause of cancer. In our body, about 10 types of cancers are caused by alcohol. Other types of foods which increase the risk of cancer include processed carbohydrates, that is the use of refined carbohydrates like white rice or white flour or even foods which are rich in artificial sugar or added sugar, that is candies, sweetened beverages. Next is processed meat, especially red meat, example bacon, hot dog, sausages, or even use of fried or grilled foods like could be meat, fish, poultry. All these are known to cause an increase in the risk of cancer. So as a whole, junk food, which are most often used nowadays, is bound to have a lot of carcinogens in them, which makes us more prone to cancer. Doctor, I want to ask you a question. What kind of food plan should be followed to prevent cancer? As such, there is no single food that can prevent cancer. But indeed, following a healthy, well-balanced, nutritious diet does help you in reducing the risk of cancer. The World Health Organization recommends a food plate that has to be followed by each one of us. It says that the half of the food plate should contain fruits and vegetables. Only a quarter of the plate should be occupied by carbohydrates. It could be rice, wheat or any of the carbohydrates. And the last quarter should contain proteins and good fat. Uh, as you all know, the fruits and vegetables nowadays available are full of pesticides and insecticides. So I highly recommend the use of homegrown fruits and vegetables for a healthy diet. Thank you ma'am for the valuable information you have given. I too had a question. I would like to know about, in India, more than 135 million individuals are affected by obesity. Does obesity lead to cancer? This is a good question. We have been eating more and more. Actually, nowadays we are suffering from excess of calories and nutrition. Uh, this, combined with the sedentary life, is leading to an epidemic of obesity. You almost know that obesity causes a lot of lifestyle diseases like heart disease, hypertension, diabetes. But you may not be knowing that obesity is one of the most important cause of cancer. Many cancers, for example, endometrial cancer and the cancer of uterus in females, about 30% of these cancers are associated with obesity. Also, breast cancer and colon cancer about 8 to 9 percentage of these cancers are shown to have a direct relationship with obesity. Are there any lifestyle changes that will help to become healthier to a cancer patient? Not only for cancer patients, but for any person in order to stay healthy and to reduce the risk of cancer, it is only needed to make some simple changes in their lifestyle. First and foremost is to follow a well-balanced, healthy diet, as I told earlier. Second is to have enough sleep. About 7 to 8 hours of sleep is required a day. And try to avoid stimulants like caffeine, alcohol or sugar. Next is to exercise regularly. At least 30 minutes of brisk walking is enough to prevent most of the lifestyle diseases. It's much effective. 
Next is stress. It's one of the most forgotten factors which has an important role in maintaining both our mental and physical well-being. So try to reduce stress by following some relaxation techniques like yoga, meditation or whatever you are comfortable with. And especially with cancer patients, try to have a network of positive people around them so that the treatment can be more effective. So that's by making some simple changes in your lifestyle, you can reduce the risk of cancer and most importantly, you can prevent most of the lifestyle diseases. So stay safe, stay healthy. I hope all of you clear your doubts regarding cancer and food habits. Let me conclude several less program by saying that living an active life combined with healthy food habits is essential to our health. Thank you, I'm sure. Om Namah Shivaya, myself Nidhi from class 8B. Today, I am here to deliver a short speech on World Cancer Day. World Cancer Day is an international day marked on 4th February to raise awareness of cancer and to encourage its prevention, detection and treatment. The primary goal of World Cancer Day is to significantly reduce illness and death caused by cancer. The day is observed by United Nations since 2000, February 4th. Cancer is a generic term for a large group of diseases that can affect any part of the body. One defining feature of cancer is the rapid creation of abnormal cells that grow beyond their usual boundaries, invading into adjoining body parts as well as to other body organs. This process is referred to as metastasis. Metastasis are the primary cause of death from cancer. Around one third of deaths from cancer are due to tobacco and alcohol use, high body mass index, low fruit and vegetable intake and lack of physical activities. Apart from these factors, a sedentary lifestyle and environmental factors also contribute to the increase in cancers. The overall living circumstances of the Indian population have improved and that have also led to a larger sedentary workforce which has access to a high calorie diet, thereby increasing cancer cases in India nowadays. This year's World Cancer Day will be observed with the theme Close the Care Gap. 
The theme for the year 2022-24 is a three-year campaign. The first year of Close the Care Gap campaign is all about understanding and recognizing the inequities of cancer care around the globe. It's about having an open mind and challenging assumptions. The people suffering from cancer need extra care and love to recover from this deadly disease. It is the message of this day on observance. Thank you and have a nice day.